Where did that guy come from? All right, we're inviting Moev right now. Be our friend. Fantastic, we accepted. Hello, friend. Because also, it's good to make a friend that is a dwarf, because they've got cool accents. But this is a female dwarf. Now, they're pretty rare. So uh, it's nice just to say that we have a female dwarf friend. I think it's just a nice thing. It's like... I was going to make a real-life comment about referring to uh, certain groups as, um, you know, rare groups in your culture. And saying, oh, but I know one of these, I know one of those. Um, it's a bit like that, but with with a female dwarf, it's even more rare. You know, I heard tales about these female dwarves and how they're supposed to look somewhat like men. It'd be hard to distinguish between them, but this one does look like a female. It definitely does. In fact, I'm having no trouble distinguishing between uh, a female dwarf and a male dwarf. She's very independent, though. I mean, she's run off all on her own. I guess she does actually have a, an absolutely massive warthog with her. Okay, it looks like Moev doesn't want to hang around anymore. Probably because she looks at Jennel and thinks to herself... I look like a male. People can't tell between male and female dwarves. And this high elf here, Jennel, is so beautiful uh, that she just feels bad and can't hang around us. I'm certain that's what's going on. Don't worry, Moev. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll keep our distance. We'll be way back here. Let's just inch around the... Yeah, let's inch around the sides of the cavern so she, she doesn't feel too intimidated by our beauty. I was going to say let's clue this dwarf around this way to help us to kill the ones we need but uh, clearly Merv cannot take our beauty and so has just simply left that's okay i think we'll just say bye to Merv. Uh, see ya 